Hi, Leela and Chloe. It's Grandma coming to you from the third cosmic ray, unconditional love, St. Louis, Missouri. Grandma's never been conventional, and I know that you girls wonder where Grandma's at. So, in celebration of Grandparents' Day today, September the 13th, I'm reaching out to you. You girls are old enough now that you may have forgotten my face, but I think after you hear my voice and see my face here, that you'll remember how much we love you. Oh, someday, you'll go to the computer and you'll Google my name, and you'll find this. So, I was there when you two girls were born, and I know you have a little brother coming soon, and I miss seeing you guys so much. But I want you to know I'm right down the street, girls, in the next town, and one day, like I said, we'll talk about this more. I know right now it might seem like a fairy tale or something keeping us apart, but soon all that's going to change and it'll be like a bad dream that we woke up from and that it never really was as bad as it seemed. It was the scared for not knowing why. So, it's been about 40 months since I kissed your sweet faces or held you. I have a few pictures. And of course, back when you girls were around, this is what you looked like. This is the babies that I remember. Now, of course, here you girls are as you're growing up a little bit, and I was able to get this picture from a dear friend that knows you too, known you long before this all happened. They loved you so much, so anyone in the past that's tried to get a picture from me, I really do appreciate it. And I know that everybody out there listening right now is freaking out saying, what do you mean you can't see your kids or your grandkids on Grandparents Day or any day per se? But you know, in the state of Missouri, babies, there are no rights for grandparents unless your mommy and daddy had a fight and broke up and whoever got custody of you girls, the other family would get to still see you and be with you because that's the way the laws are written and I know you're too young to know anything about laws just think about it as part of the story now a long time ago when you were always with us I'd always say to you sugar butt I'd say be nice to your mom she's my baby And I still hope that you do that as the story unfolds because we were so close and you remind me so much of your mom and you and your sister are both Scorpios so I know you got a little fiery temper hiding in there somewhere. And Bobo, Grandma's always known all your toes and I hope you remember that too because you girls spent three days a week over here Bubbo for the first eight months of your life and Sugar Bud for a year and a half I had you and held you and loved you and that's why you suffered more than your sister you remember how hard it was when we were torn apart from each other so I have something here that I hope may help and it's a book by Neil Donald Wash Walsh. And it was illustrated by Frank Riccio. 
and it's called The Little Soul and the Sun. So, this isn't one of those scary fairy tales like you might have already seen as a child. This is a beautiful story, and so imagine that before you came here you wanted to learn something so important. And of course, since all God's children were created so perfectly, it would be hard to find the person who could help you teach the lesson. And so in this book they call it The Friendly Soul. And so, let's say that someone comes here to learn forgiveness. Now surely, you'd want to learn that from someone that you knew and loved and traveled with through many times, through time and space even, which sounds really magical. So, the person that is the friendly soul says, well, I'll help you learn forgiveness and I'll lower my va vibration and come down low. But when I do that thing that hurts you, please remember that you wanted to learn this lesson. So of course, the little soul really does believe that she'll remember. And I think that that might be your mom. She and I love each other so much that in the end, she couldn't be herself unless she totally let go of me. And sometimes that's what kids have to do when they grow up and they're scared to be apart from the person they felt one with. So my purpose as we go through this is that no matter what, don't be angry at your mom and dad and realize that this was all a game and that if the light workers accomplish their mission, we'll have heaven on earth soon. The last time I was with you girls, God told me that I wouldn't get to see you babies. And don't get me wrong, there wasn't a big cloud that came down and said, hey, Suze, this is a deal. But it was in my heart that I knew the truth that I wouldn't get to see you guys until we had heaven on earth. And I do believe that time is coming, babies. I know it's hard to believe, and I know it's a difficult story, but no matter where I am, or in what form, I'll always love you. And I want you to know that you have a Grandpa Joe that loves you too. And you also have an Aunt Lauren that loves you so much. And we love your mom and dad. Just the other day, Grandpa Joe saw your dad at the store. And he had a big smile. Grandpa Joe did. And he was hoping maybe that him and your dad could talk. But he's still upset. And he cut all his hair off, so... Maybe that's because your little brother's getting ready to be born. One day when you look back on all this, you'll know, and the story will be there. I'm going to try to do a few more of these tonight. It is very emotional, and it's to heal my own self. So, please forgive me for telling stories and being a hairdresser and trying to communicate things. But I'll tell you this, little girls, so many people love your mom and they just couldn't understand when she said that we'd never get to see you again. So everybody's still searching for an answer and the world's changing. So don't give up hope, girls. I don't. I look to see you every day. And maybe soon, even a picture, right? I love you so much, babies.
Grandma will always love you.